Thank you so much for staying with us. We got this. I mean, this video came out, you know, very early on in terms of our, our response to COVID-19. And I think we've been doing a good job so far. Kudos to the Ministry of Health and Wellness for their management of every wave that has come hitting St. Lucia. We've dealt with it very well. At this time, uh, we are now on to our interview segment uh, for this morning's update. Uh, we're speaking to Her Excellency uh, Claudia Edward Lardner, as well as uh, a, a partner in terms of her latest projects. Uh, we have Naja Simeon from Saki Productions uh, here to speak to us about uh, the latest project, uh, painting the outside wall of the Blushar Combined School. I'm uh, going to come to that in just a moment, okay. but first I want to say, first of all, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning to you. <laughs> well, thank you for being here. Uh, I want to start with you, Her Excellency uh, Claudia Edward Lardner. Hi. It has been quite a, a journey up until you know, being appointed by the government of St. Lucia. Uh, tell us what it has been like since you've been appointed, becoming an ambassador for St. Lucia. Well, I take that role very seriously because I think the fact that I was appointed as an ambassador, it means that they've seen some, they saw something in me in the work that I do. And it's for, and I do it because I love St. Lucia. I love kids and my foundation basically does projects for schools which benefits every child in the school and um, I could have gone in and said okay let's do lunch bags or school books but that would not benefit the entire school and my aim was always to do something that benefit an entire school every project that I do mm -hmm. and it's great that um, government saw what I was doing and believed that it was something good and for me, it's really a reward for, hey, you did a good job. Here's what we can do Pat for on you. the back. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So that means a lot to me. And I take it seriously also because I want to be that example for that younger person growing up. Say, oh, Claudia is a singer. She doesn't have to do this, but she does. Mm -hmm. And it's for love of my country, love of giving back and not expecting anything in return. It's mm -hmm. just that feeling that when you do something good, that you feel like you fulfill a need for you. Mm -hmm. It's not for anybody else. So um, I love the appointment and I am, I've graciously accepted it and continue to do the work that I started. Okay, so Edward for Education, you founded that organization, yes. that charity organization. In 2010. Okay, and so far, tell us about the work that has happened in, in, in the last 10 years. Well, we do a project, we try to do a project once a year, and we've done a sick room for the current secondary school. And when I say we've done a sick room, I'm talking about building it from the ground up includes furnishing it after it's built mm -hmm. and we cannot we can't do that without partners mm -hmm. so what we do is go to the community where the school is in and try to get partners within the community if we can't then we reach further out so we've done a sick bay for the current secondary school we've done a learning center for the Ave Maria primary school we recently finished a theater arts room for the Cicero secondary school and um, we also brought in a Shakespeare professional one year to do literature workshops with teachers and students, both in the north and the south of the I island. I remember that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just completed our last project with um, Saki Productions, which is the painting of a mural on the wall of the Blanchard Combined School. Okay, so, so tell me how did that, that this latest project come about? Painting the outside walls of the Blusher Combined School. School has been out for quite some time. Yes. You know, the kids in and out of school. Uh, I can imagine that there would be some displacement of schools. Tell us how did that happen in the last year in terms of the engagement of the principal and so on? Well, we had a lot of um, proposals for school projects and we were thinking with um, COVID-19 and um, the social distancing mm -hmm. some of these projects did not it did not make sense for us to approach them at this time mm -hmm. when we got the call from the, from the Blanchard combined school the principal she said to us we have a proposal that will enable our kids to learn on the outside of the classroom, which works perfectly with the social distancing and all of that. And also it gives the kids 
an opportunity to go outside to learn. Nice. And um, when she told us what her plans were, I said, oh my God, there's just one person I can call <laughs> to do this. <laughs> and, you know, it's, thankfully you come across people in your life's journey that mm -hmm. you can later on say, and you create relationships and friendships. And these people you can call and say, hey, Naja, I have a project. Tell me if you can do this. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> I said, um, I know it's, it's what Naja does is not something that you could just tell somebody paint this you know it's talent it's time it's um, it's so much to it that I could not bring myself to say Naja do it for free you mm -hmm. know and it's I said to him I have a project tell me if you're interested what will you need how can you assist us with mm -hmm. doing it? I said, Claudia, oh my God, I, I, I love those kind of things. I'd love to do it. I said, for free? He said, yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> he said, but the paint is going to cost <laughs> us. And at mm. that point, you know, I was like, okay, we need another sponsor to come mm -hmm. in to provide us with the paint. Wow. And that's when I called Harris Paints and Christopher Joseph, who is the person I deal with over there, he was more than happy to accommodate us and to be a part of the project. Mm -hmm. So... Getting this project together was by far one of the easiest projects I've put nice. together and in a timely fashion as well. I know people are itching to see the finished product. I but know, wait, wait, wait. I, I love it so much. <laughs> We're coming to <laughs> Naja Simeon of Saki Productions, designing and, and really putting in the work in terms of this latest project from Edward for Education. Uh, tell us about the, the, the project, uh, the word that you were getting from the principal, your own inspiration. Well, I think Claudia mentioned almost everything there. But um, the project, the proposal she showed us, it was huge. It's like yes. she wanted to put something on every single wall. <laughs> so we had to actually break it down and, and chew little parts and be like, okay, let's start with this wall mm -hmm. and then we'll move on to the other walls first. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, she had a brilliant plan. She knew exactly what she wanted, mm -hmm. on what wall she wanted it. And um, Claudia showed me. And I just designed it right there on the spot. We did a site visit. Yes, we did. So the project was not just on the day. It was like months of preparation. Right. And actually back and forth, sending in designs. What are we going to do here? What are we going to do there? So okay. um, it was, yeah, it was a very easygoing project. No problem at all. Everybody was, was ready to go. Except the rain. Except the <laughs> rain. The day of the project, there was a huge explosion, an eruption at the... Last of year. Volcano. So we had rain and we had ash yeah. and the staff was there painting and everybody was, was ready to go. Once we were in the school, that was it. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, so tell us about the concept of, the, of the, the, the painting. Well, the concept of the painting, based on what the principal gave us, she wanted to do maths, hair, English, hair, social studies stuff. So what I did was the science part, which is a solar system. Okay. And I selected this huge wall. You walk up the stairs. You get this wall, so it's like you're walking into the universe. Space. Yes. Right. <laughs> and Earth is right there in the middle. And when you see the image, you see the sun is in the center and it's actually painted on top of a light fixture. So when the light beautiful. comes on, the sun glows. Everything lights so up. So it's, mm. it's, it's just a, a beautiful concept. But I wanted the children to walk into the solar system. And now they can look at, you know, not just the Earth, but the entire universe and beyond. Nice. Uh, well, let's see if the principal liked it. Let, let, <laughs> let's go to the clip from the principal to just hear from her what her thoughts are standing behind, standing in front of the painting. Behind me is an awesome mural of the solar system. This solar system was painted by the superbly talented Naja Simeon and a team of equally talented guys from Saki Productions. This was conceptualized out of the need to extend our living spaces both in the classroom and outside. A proposal was sent in to Edmund for Education, who responded favorably and quite quickly, and quite quickly at that. Um, it took about one and a half days to complete this project with the help of staff members and some students. We were able to complete it quite quickly. Um, everyone loves it. We are very excited, the students were very excited when they came in on Monday morning and saw this mural on the wall for the first time. They were very, very excited. Parents are very pleased to see those kinds of things happening at the school. So on behalf of the Blush Academy family, I want to thank Edward for Education, Saki Productions, and Harris Pains 
for helping us see this project to fruition. Charming. Wonderful. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Mrs. Yeah. Edward Lardner, <laughs> so definitely a pleased principal. Oh my God, she's elated. She said to me, Claudia, I envisioned this, but I did not envision this. this. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so mm -hmm. the school is pleased, the teachers are pleased, the students are elated. Wonderful. She said she can't get them away from the wall, which wow. is really good. Mm -hmm, absolutely, yeah. especially a, a nice treat for the return to the classroom oh, yes. this week. Yes. Mm. Um, Saki Productions, Naja, t tell us about that. Tell us about your background. Ah, the background. Because this, this is a wonderful work of art. That's yes. A, that's a lovely background, yeah. <laughs> Saki Productions, actually, that's part of my middle name, Saki. My middle okay. name is Misaki. So it's Naja Misaki Simeon. Okay. And from a little kid, everybody calls me Saki, and it's just, I couldn't get rid of it. It's just, <laughs> I was Saki. <laughs> so I registered the, build it, the business in, mm -hmm. in, like, 2018 when I returned to St. Lucia from university. I studied art at university and engineering. So I just wanted to hit the ground running and I tried to show my artwork in galleries but there were very few galleries I think there was only one, one gallery yeah, yeah. Yeah. just like the inner gallery yeah. and um, I really couldn't get my artwork in there I don't know I don't know why so we teamed up with a few other people and we was like you know what let's start the outdoor gallery and start just putting paintings out there you don't have to put it in a gallery mm -hmm. in a gallery in a gallery yeah you don't have to put it inside of I a like gallery. The you just want let's just put it out there. So we started doing murals. I had experience doing murals in the US at university and I came back to St. Lucia and we just hit the ground running. The first murals were done with dupes. You know, mm -hmm. dupes. I don't know if dupes is an ambassador, is it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. It should be if it's not. And uh, we got some sponsorship, did mm -hmm. some murals, I did murals in communities like Salty Bus, Painted Schools and Ever since we've been doing murals, over 40 murals all around the island now. Okay, so this commissioning was not unique for you. This is no, something no. that you've done already. We, we do this all the time. I think Claudia knows about that, but mm -hmm. Claudia and I met in other artistic yeah, ways. Uh, yeah, theater. Mm. Yeah, we met yeah. In, in the movie industry. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. So, yeah, that's Saki Productions and the Outdoor Gallery. So, uh, Claudia, t tell me a bit about, I mean, uh, this is definitely giving you ideas for the future for mm -hmm. Edward for Education, the way in which it happened. Uh, it's something that you want to continue? I think it's a great initiative to continue, especially in light of the world we live in now. Um, outdoor learning is actually one of the positive ways to go for school, especially primary schools, when the kids are so fidgety and you just try mm -hmm. to get them to settle give them something to focus on that's beautiful yes. that they that's colorful you know that they can appreciate and learn you know make the environment visually right rich. Mm -hmm. exactly so exactly if they go outside they still learn it right and it's not just paper and pen now you know mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. an actual wall to what's this planet called and it's right there in their face so yeah. I think and we also did the multiple tables on yeah, the we did multiplication tables, tables okay, nice. on the walls and I told you this principal has so many brilliant ideas yes she does that there are more projects coming up and they could for blush combined anytime. yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay wonderful. I have to design something else for them and they have a local artist in the community who is on board right Nice. And uh, what's his name, Mr. Knight? Yeah, I'm giving him a shout out right now there because he has a big project to do with <laughs> Blusher. Okay, so aside from Blusher, what are the other plans for Saki? Uh, the other plans for Saki, I just finished a, a project in Masha actually mm -hmm. um, with the musicians, entertainers and people in theater, but I was with the Ministry of Tourism. Okay, nice. And then before that, we did the Independence murals, the St. Lucia mural at Point mm -hmm. Seraphine. Mm -hmm. Um, murals along the Cassius bus stop with other groups like um, um, USAID had a, a small group with what was the name of that group? I can't remember but it was a youth, mm -hmm. youth groups and Anglican school and all this other stuff the plan for Saki Productions right, and the outdoor gallery <laughs> is to now start almost like a, a non-profit organization okay. where we can get donations and get support from people who support the arts mm -hmm. so we can continue doing these projects in the communities but involving the youth and the people in that community so that they take possession they take ownership of these spaces mm -hmm. beautify them you know mm -hmm. give it a little vibe inspire others <coughs> even start their little tours around the village you know and our theme is to put paint where it ain't so anywhere there's a wall and it looks black 
give it a little coat of paint, some nice inspirational quotes, something fun and lively, mm -hmm. and you see everybody starts gravitating to that space. Like it becomes the backdrop. Right. Photo shoots have been done yeah. there. Mm -hmm. Everything starts happening in that spot. Yeah. So yeah. I'm, I'm very lucky that I can actually do that and we're transforming spaces. So. Absolutely, and, and an therapeutic for the world we now live in, mm -hmm. yeah. where persons have to be apart from each other, like yeah. you indicated, Claudia. Yeah. Uh, well, the kids had something to say to mm. Edward for education. Let's take a look at it. <laughs> <laughs> How do you I like feel? It. I love it. I love it. I love the smiles on their faces. The, and when I spoke to the principal yesterday, she says, Claudia, the kids love it. And that is what brings me the satisfaction. It wow. smiles on their faces, the mm -hmm. appreciation for it, which means that they will take care of it. Yeah. And I have no doubt the, you know, the principal especially, she'll do everything in her power to make sure this lasts forever on that wall. Yeah, it will last. We took care of that. <laughs> oh, okay. We put, we put a protective coat on there. Right. The thing is, I always walk outside, so I have kind of perfected the art of, of painting outside, Out using, mm -hmm. using the right material, sealing it. But the thing is, for me, everybody's like, but what if? I'm like, a mural is supposed to change with time. Right. Mm -hmm. It is right. ephemeral. Things will happen to it. People right. will write And that it. adds to it. That, that adds, adds to, to it. Value. Don't be mm -hmm. afraid if you put something out there and people interface. You want people to interact with it. Mm -hmm. Right. And then again, it gives me another opportunity to come and paint it over. <laughs> right. right. I really don't mind. <laughs> well, it's, it's good to finally uh, put a face to some of the projects we've been seeing around the island. Especially the St. Lucia. Yes. At the, I was um, trying to be point. like... Banksy, you know, just Sisaki, but no. <laughs> Do my cover. Thank you very much for sparking, you know, that inspiration in some of the younger minds and so on. I know you're definitely working with uh, younger persons in terms of, you know, pushing the, the artistic. Yes. The I art also form. want to highlight the project we did at Babano Secondary Babano. Mm -hmm. on the Friday before school reopened, and it was with Girls of a Feather and other organizations in within the school, and the students turned out, the teachers showed up, and everybody was ready and going so they did a beautiful bathroom project mm -hmm. which is what girls of a feather have been doing at many bathrooms yeah. around the island mm -hmm. so just to give the channel inspiration when they walk into the bathroom when there are no teachers sometimes that's where you go to cry if you have a little problem and, mm -hmm. and then when you walk in there true. you want that place to give you a little a little inspiration so the bathrooms are not a place for kids to hide but it, it should be part of their school Wonderful. Thank you very much, Naja Simeon yes. from Saki Productions. And before we go, a thanks to Harris Paints. Yes, I want to say thank you so much to Harris Paints. I mean, I went to Christopher and he said, he had no hesitation. He said, of course, we'd like to be a part of the project. And mm. um, he even said, give me um, Naja's number so we can find out exactly what he needs. So they spoke to Naja and they said, tell us exactly what you need. And he told them and it was... Uh, Go, go. We worked Wonderful. it out. Yes, <laughs> we worked it out we in the it end. Out. Wonderful. But thank you again, Harry Spains, and thank you to Naja and Saki Productions. Thank you so much. I mean, I too saw what he put on paper, mm -hmm. but when I saw the wall, I was literally shocked, happy, elated. I was just like, oh my God, he did that. Well, it wasn't just me. I know, <laughs> but with your leadership, you know, yeah, but well. it, I honestly did not imagine such detail in, yeah. the, in the production, and that's I what mean, just blew me. It was the teachers were really, they were ready, and some students showed up too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thanks to Team Saki, a few of my, my team members showed up, Liven and Jerry, but the teachers, especially a young man, what's his name, Khalil? Yeah. Khalil did an incredible job. You saw he was an artist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do this he was on it, it yeah. yeah. Wow. So that's good. Well, so. congratulations to you both on another project covered. Thank Her you. Excellency Claudia Edward Lagner and also of Saki Productions and Naja Simeon. Thank you thank so much you. for thank painting you. another project on the outside walls of the Blusha Combined School.